كولن اي سوقا بان قابسي هي ادا برايدا هيلث منيسودا ان فاندد باي منيسودا بريس فيدين كوليشن او اي كا سوقيب غالين تقاتير عافماد او اي كا كلا سعودا اسبتالو كلا دوان سلا ماركانا لغو عزمي قار كاميدا اي قبل كا منيسودا كولن كان ايا وحا ديردا لغو ساري عرورتا حنونسان غارهان كوادشا وقتي غودا كهور سيدا آنو اكسونا هاي دالكا مريكان کا وحا كجرا دومر فربادان او اي صدقيان ناس کا آنو هودا او اسبتالا دا اي كيدين ايان سي لو سيو عرورتا وقتي غودا كهور نشا او اباهان نفقو ديرادا Now for preterm infants, in those are the children that are born less than 37 weeks, in addition to all of above, there's more specific interest. It helps decrease infection. So these babies, when they're born usually less than 35 weeks, they're admitted into the neonatal intensive care units. And now in our units, we take care of babies that are born as early as 22 weeks. So very, very immature, very young babies, as you can see in the picture. So um, human milk helps decrease, and I'm, right now I'm specifically talking about mom's milk, but I will go into how do donor milk also helps with that. So we, um, mom's milk helps decrease sepsis or infection throughout the baby's day, and it helps decrease a very bad disease that happens in the gut. It's called necrotizing enterocolitis. I'm going to talk about it next slide, and I apologize in advance. I am going to show a picture that is pretty ugly, but I think we need to see why it's important to have it in preterm infants. It also, in preterm infants, it's even more important for neurodevelopment or brain development, and it has been directly related. Like every amount of mom's milk that the baby receives in the NICU is correlated by improved cognition at three years of age, and then they got imaging MRI studies and they saw that the brain volume itself was bigger, and it's dose-related. The more mom's milk, the better improvement in cognition and in brain development. So this is, again, I apologize about this picture, but this is what necrotizing enterocolitis is. This is um, a very common, it's the most common gastrointestinal emergency, and it's devastating in the preterm infant. These babies are getting, like the first week, they're very sick, but then they got better, they get better. But by two or three weeks, they suddenly have this really bad disease where their belly blows up and their gut is, gets very inflamed. And it's a very serious illness, about 5 to 10% of... And when they get that, 30% of them are going to die, like 30 to 50% in some places. And those that don't, and they die and receive surgery, they have problems long term. I had a baby that was born at about 25 weeks, was doing very well, and by three weeks, and, and the, we looked at the brain, how it's doing, and the brain looked good. By three weeks, it suddenly developed this necrotizing enterocolitis. It did survive, but she was there for months on the ventilator. And when we looked at her imaging again, the brain had a lot of cystic lesions. It looked like Swiss cheese. And then maybe two years later, her head to size was very small. She couldn't walk. She couldn't talk. So it's an acute inflammation, not just of the gut, but of the whole body that, affects, that can affect the preterm baby lifelong. They can, if they have surgery, they can have short gut. They can have neurodevelopmental impairment. That means they can have cerebral palsy and delay. So it's a very, very bad disease. When you see a child, you remember it for, your, for a lifetime. For all of us, at the center of all of these conversations, is the baby yes. and their family. Yes. So I really, really respect all of us Thank and you. all of you for engaging in this conversation. Thanks. Okay. Another way to look at that number, um, seven times, so that's a 700% increase. Yes. There are very few things in our medical world that increase your risk for death or a severe illness than mother's breast milk or pasteurized human milk that increases the risk so much. 700% increase if you get formula compared to an exclusive human milk. So that's one thing that I think is really important. And then I think also that this is medicinal. Mm -hmm. 
It is medicinal and nutritional. Dooda aya ahayd diinta islamka ma oga shahay in aanaha noa si ilmaha la siyo. Qaar kamidah ulumadi kaso qeyb gashay kulan kasi aya waxa ay kujwaabin sida tan. بالله من الشيطان الرجيم والوالدات يرضعن أولادهن حولين كاملين لمن أراد أن يتم الرضاعة وعلى المولود له رزقهن وكزوتهن وكزوتهن بالمعروف لا تكلف نفس إلا وصها لا تضار والدة بولدها ولا مولود له بولده وعلى الوارث مثل ذلك فإن أراد فصالا عن تراض منهما وتشاور فلا جناح عليهما فلا جناح عليهما وإن أردتم أن تسترضعوا أولادكم وإن أردتم أن تسرضعوا أولادكم فلا جناح عليكم إذا سلمتم ما آتيتم بالمعروف واتقوا الله واعلموا أن الله بما تعمرون بصير. الحمد لله قاعدة أنا نقوم دي عنك أو بهناي ناسك ناسك ويدس يو عافمة ساعد أشجت أنا وعافمة عنك أنا بقول شيء وقت وقت جيس كير. تبرنا ما هاي بنا كأنت كلا ما هذا كله. هو يدي نقول عن هذا مسؤول. هو يدي عن هذا اللي ما هاي. دو هاي إنه وقعته ونفتي سلبة بادي شرعة وهم قشام. وحن ماشان ما أنتي إسكو لقا لقا هذا لي ودوننا أو هذا لنا نكون هذا الكلام كده كدي بنا. المها كده شيء دق ودي دق كير. أولي هو يدي كده شيء أيسن عن يالن. مركز أو متقا أنا ما المكان بعد ما المركز ديار هين، ونبى هن عانيه هايو، ملاصين كرا عانها إسبتال لدو كيديان، ضد هراء أو متقا أنا غارنا هدرها مسلمين غارنا اسم مسلمين هغارنا عمل أقوام وحيين موعد على هين، ملوك بتباني كرا ملاصين كرا، أولا هرتا قف كستة وابن آدم محترم ولي، محترم ولي، قف كستة محترم ولي إلهي بوحي ولي هاي ولقد كرمنا بني آدم. تقوض إيمان كي إسلام نماد إسلام كي قال نماد ولا جوسي كله في عيني هاي إسلام قال لي بس نقف التقي قف كله واسيه كله سريان إن أكرمك عند الله تقاكم بإلهي ليه لكن بنو آدم كون إلهي وأكرامي كو تن لبعض وحي تهي وتاريخ هذه الله الله فتو ضد بدن أو مسلمين أه هي وحن جد دمر أه متقا أنا دمر أه مسلمين أهين سيدو كلاته قفك مسلم كاي وحو جور سكرا جبر كتابي هذا جبر مسلم هذا هين لكن كتابي له كتابه كورد عسل ما عنه نجنا يسا مركرتا جود هان كنجر هن أو هذا حالة ضحى سكبة دعية مثك عافي ما تكقبة أي أبنا أنت هاي عانها إن لسيو ضد كاس عن متقنا مسلمين هاي عانه هذا أما عانه لوك هيدي إسبت الله تان مرك حالة كرا إياه سيجرتا وحال يجري سيد الرغاتير ترشاجين إلهي بحي غدا أوجي المها هايدو أيدو يرد الشيء هدي للسيا أنا هايو يمكن لا تلقى لا أي أي صدق يستون استالو كيدي وحي أب بدن تحسير للتجربة بقول كي بسديات إلهي بتباديو إلهي بتباديس كله هدي اللي قد دعيو أنا نورمل كعلم هلا سيا للسيا نا بقول كي بتضبعات ويحنون سنيان ويجرنا يان لباقوي أمانة يا أنت بتبادي سنير مركب ملقوب بتبادين كرا أو ملصين كرا أردت كو قبلها مسلمات كا إلمي هذا كت حدري يا ee waxaan ma iibna ay ku fakaraya way ma hasan khair la siyo aad bay u fiican yihiin waana dad fiican khair la siyo laakiin islaamku waa u banaan tahay ilmihooda in lagu badbaadiyo caana nuucaasa waa la sii kara waana lagu badbaadinayaa wayna banaan tahay wax bulshii ay cid waxa kale lama arko iskada ayaga hata wax ka sii liita lagu badbaadi kara maati hadii badbaad taado hadii qofku hata uu sayraan ku dhan caadi ku dhasho ee cunto la aan ku dhacdo ee halka uu joogo ee naftu ka dhacayso ee caana khinziir ma aan caanada wax kale aan helayn waa lagu badbaadinayaa waa lagu baahitirayaa tan iska badaa tan marka isbitaaladu hayaan ilmihi in la siyaama banaan tahay ma sama banaan hawsh ma taale ma waajiba ma waajib ma hawe waana waajib lagu badbaadiyo ilmaha sirka wa oo ibn aadanka oo islaamka هذا الشيء الصغير كا هذه اللي هذا بدبادي هالكاس أبدا نتاعي ولو جبت بادين أيه إن لو جبت بادين واجب أنا غنيسا.
My name is Dr. Leah Jordan. I'm a neonatologist at Children's Minnesota. I came to this meeting um, very passionate about the benefits of donor breast milk, and I am just so amazed by the um, just very transparent discussions, respectful discussions, and great desire of everyone here to help promote um, the health and well-being of babies in our community. It's been a phenomenal partnership to be a part of, and I feel so inspired by everyone who's been here. My name is Stephanie Lacey, and I am a lactation consultant at Methodist Hospital Health Partners. Um, I agree. I'm honored to be here. I have worked as an OB nurse um, helping mothers and babies for 25 years in a metro hospital. And um, having come um, to a meeting like this and, and being able to um, work with leaders within the Somali community um, that are working for um, health of their community and to have a conversation agreed um, respectfully about different perspectives um, from the science of it and um, the Muslim faith. It's been just really um, wonderful to, to be a part of that. So I'm Dr. Pam Heggie. I'm medical director of the Minnesota Milk Bank for Babies and also a pediatrician. And um, I too am just so grateful to be part of this conversation and to have everyone be sharing their perspectives, listening respectfully, and really the passion for um, having equity, um, having everyone um, really be focused on promoting life and preventing uh, death in these very medically fragile babies and having uh, donor milk be available to anyone who needed it and also emphasizing um, mother's own milk, that it's, it's a both and, that helping mothers make as much milk as they possibly can to use the donor milk uh, that's pooled um, with many, many different donors with multiple amounts that can provide milk that is the most nutritious. And to have that as a bridge as mothers are increasing their own milk supply and that that's something that would be very valued in the um, Muslim faith as well. So, and I just learned so much and I appreciate everyone's questions and thank you.